Hello everyone, this is the Dragon Egg channel here today. So today, this is my channel update video. And in case you haven't noticed, this game is Grand Theft Auto 5, which is really popular right now. It sold like over 10 million copies on the first day, and made like 1 billion in 3 days that even beat Call of Duty records. So I've been playing this game for the last week. I must say, this is really, really fun. Right now I'm playing as Franklin. He's one of the main characters in the game. Like, unlike this game, you get to play as three main characters. And if you see what happened there, I slowed down time. That's his special ability. So anyways, this is channel update. And what I'm going to be uploading for probably the next two weeks is Grand Theft Auto 5 gameplay. I also try to upload some Grand Theft Auto Online with me playing my friends. But I'll give my thoughts on this game too. So anyways, I haven't finished the story yet. I think I'm near the end. I don't get that last high to do with the Union Depository. And right here, I decided to get a haircut. Cause why not? This game, there's lots more character customization options like haircuts, tattoo parlors, and clothing compared to Grand Theft Auto 4. You wanna see me grow an afro with 5 minutes? How about 5 seconds? Somehow, the scissor, you can actually grow an afro in Grand Theft Auto 5. Why stop there? Why not get your own beard? In 5 seconds, with a few cuts of scissors, you somehow magically grow a beard. How cool is that? Thanks for stopping by. So anyways, I really, really prefer this game to Grand Theft Auto 4. Like, Grand Theft Auto 4 wasn't a bad game, it was pretty good, but it wasn't as fun as San Andreas, or GTA 3, or the other, like PS2 slash Xbox One, as in Xbox original titles. So anyways, this game has a lot of depth into it, there's lots of things to do in the game, like lots of sports, lots of races, and of course story missions. Compared to the other missions in the other games, th this game has really complex missions since you'll be switching between like three characters. Like for example, your f one mission has you like flying a helicopter, I think that's Trevor, and then you have to go grapple down into an office building as Michael, while Franklin has to write sniper support and you have to switch between all three characters. I think there are only like 69 missions in this game, which is lower than GTA 4 or San Andreas. But I like these missions much better than GTA 4. They're a lot more fun, they have lots of variety in them. I also like the vehicle selection and the weapon selection. This game actually has planes, unlike GTA 4. And you can actually go to your airport and snag yourself a passenger jet, which is what I'm doing right now. Because why not? You can even steal a tank. And that's right, the Rhino tank from previous games has returned, being absent from GTA 4. And it's really fun to drive. I actually stole one before from Fort San Cudo, which is a military base. It's pretty hard to do, because once you get inside the military base, all the soldiers stationed there will start shooting at you. But you can still steal their vehicles, like I think there's a fire jet called the Laser. And then you can steal the Buzzer, which is an attack helicopter from Valgate Tony. And then you can also steal the tank and the cargo plane. You can also go to the airport to snag yourself passenger jet, like I mentioned before. I'm a little mixed on the flying mechanics. I mean, for planes, they handle pretty well once you got good flying stat bar. Well, in this game, like San Andreas, each character has their own stat bars, determining their skill with like certain activities or certain skills. As in, let's say, if you shoot like 
make lots of headshots or do a package game at firing range, your shooting skill will increase and I think your accuracy and maximum ammo capacity will also increase as well. Or if you like fly a lot or you take flight school, your flying skill will increase and it will decrease the amount of turbulence or wind resistance set to your face when you're flying. Well, for some reason, I couldn't fly the plane as Franklin. Probably because he only has like 20% in his flying skill. Well, I probably had to go to flight school in order to max it out. And yeah. Helicopters, on the other hand, they don't really handle that well. Even if you have like a maxed out flying stat, like I do for Michael and Trevor. They like wobble to the side a lot, they sh they're not really stable like in GTA 4 where you're pretty stable when you're flying. And I just abandoned that jet because it wasn't going to take off basically. And the police are on to me because they don't want me on the airport, pretty sure no one wants someone stealing planes from the airport. And in order to like get inside a plane, let's go like in front of this front wheel and then press triangle button on PS3 or Y on Xbox in order to get in. For some reason I couldn't get in this plane. I'm pretty sure I've flown these types of planes before. And I decided to make a getaway. So for the next two weeks this is probably you're probably gonna be seeing. Also upload maybe some missions. Without story cutscenes, because Rockstar has a policy against uploading story cutscenes unless you're doing a let's play or walkthrough. So, when October 8th comes, Sky ID 2 will be coming out, which is, uh, this is also one of my favorite games to play. And I bet lots of you who have subscribed to my channel will probably like that. I bet that's prob probably everyone subscribed to me for is uh, Disgaea. But I also upload other games like Call of Duty, like Red Dead Redemption. I did one video of me killing the main antagonist. And yeah, I just lost my wallet level by driving this small vehicle. There's tons of different vehicles in this game. You can also modify them. Like San Andreas style, we can modify like the armor, bulletproofing, like bulletproof tires. I don't think it's a bulletproof window. You can also upgrade the engine, brakes. Depends on the vehicle. But unfortunately you can't upgrade a tank. That'd be pretty awesome if you could modify a tank in Los Angeles Customs, which is like the kind of like pan spray from previous games. Right here is the atomic blimp. It's what you get for pure in game. But luckily, I actually got this without pre-ordering. In case you want to know, I bought this game at a local Walmart on the release day, which was September 17th. And all copies came with the pre-order code to get the atomic book, which is pretty sweet, right? Pretty big. And check out sights. Looks pretty beautiful up here during night. Kind of like most modern day cities when you like go over a plane, you see all these city landmarks on a pretty amazing game Rockstar has built. And I'm pretty impressed with this game, it does live up to my expectations what I have. I expected this game to be much more fun, probably best overall GTA. San Andreas is also a top contender for my favorite GTA. Oh, and one more thing. Don't try this in real life. It's gonna hurt. It's not gonna be pretty. And there's parachutes. Save yourself in case you ever fall. 
Ouch. That's got hurt. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.